have you here. Thank you for having me. Anyone who follows you on IG knows that your blog, this all started with a blog, it just completely blew up. Are you still shocked that you are yes. here now, <laughs> two books later, on national television talking about your recipes? Yeah, I, I don't even know how I'm here right now. <laughs> how am I here? I don't know. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. I started out doing research and I started as a hobby. And I just shared my struggles with disordered eating and yes. my diet before was just so unhealthy and filled with everything fat free. And then I started experimenting with the plant-based recipes and I just fell in love with it. And I had so much more energy and I just felt amazing. Well, so see, it, that story is the reason why I think so many people have connected with you. There are so many people out there, our viewers, that have disordered eating. Right. Um, and they can't, there's an obsession with food and they're not doing it right. So if you can go to a plant-based diet, you know that you're getting all the nutrients you need and you're yep. gonna be okay. Definitely, yeah. So we're gonna talk about a few recipes starting with the uh, walnut, avocado, and pear salad. Yes, this is this a is really, really nice hearty salad. I don't like plain tomato and lettuce salads at all. Boring. So yeah, exactly. This one, it has so many great textures. There's crunchy walnuts, mm. there's juicy pear. It's just an amazing salad to make. Flavor so, town. The dressing, it takes about two minutes, okay. and all you do is add some apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. which I love. I always buy the raw, unfiltered kind because it has healthy enzymes and good, healthy bacteria in it. Okay. So it's a really good ingredient to include in your diet. This is flax oil. If you don't have flax oil, you can use extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Balsamic vinegar for a little sweet tangy flavor. Yeah. Maple syrup. So you've got some more, a little bit of sweetness there. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of sea salt. If it wants to come if out. It's being a little shy. <laughs> a little bit of black pepper. So these are sort of the, the main flavors you're gonna find in most vinaigrettes. Some garlic. Yeah, lots of garlic. Always lots of garlic. And then this is the secret ingredient. It's an unsweetened applesauce. Oh, yeah. And my trick for using applesauce in dressing is it gives the dressing a body and a thickness and it reduces the need for using a lot of oil. So that's a good little trick and it adds a little sweetness too and it goes nicely with the other flavors. Okay, nice. Just a bit of Dijon. Yeah. Adds a little spiciness. And then all you do is just shake it up. That's it. It's very smart to put it in a mason jar. Because you know so you're going to be able to just shake it up right away and pour it on. Yeah, and this will keep in the fridge for a couple weeks. Yes. You can do it in advance. Use it on all kinds of roasted veggies, grain bowls, mm. what have you. Good stuff. Okay, so, so yeah, now we're going to start the, the prepping the salad, the building the salad. Alrighty. Tons of greens there, which I'm sure you're all about. Tons of greens. Always got to have lots of greens. Um, I like to put lots of toasted walnuts on top, mm -hmm. adds a nice crunch to it. And lots of avocado. Yeah, really good healthy fat. So when you're eating so a fat-free diet, fat. you can't have stuff like avocado, and that's I just know, that's terrible. So sad. It's so sad. sad. I think about my old diet, and it was really sad. Yeah. I like eating lots of fat in my diet now. It's all about the fats, and it's funny when we're eating, we all, it go we go through trends. So the yeah. 80s was, and the, a little bit in the 90s, it was all about fat-free, fat-free, and then we it realized, was. oh my gosh, there's really good fats out there that we need to be ingested yep. in order to even feel satiated and to help our brains. Oh, exactly. Yeah, I feel so much better eating lots of fats. Yeah. And then I'm just going to add some. So these are the portobello mushrooms. They've been marinated mm -hmm. and grilled. You can actually do this ahead of time. Um, so you can grill them the day before, just pop them in the fridge, and then reheat them right before you serve it. So Lovely. it's really quick. Um, and some onions. And some red onions as nice. well. And those have been grilled too. So you've added a lot of you know, substance to that salad. So you feel like yeah. at the end of the meal, you've had you've had a good meal. You actually feel full. Oh, Can yeah. I ask you, is that a serving for one, Angela? It is for me. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. Yeah. Good, because I when it comes to salads. I am very serious about my salads. Yes. I eat them in mixing bowls, oh, usually. Oh, good girl. <laughs> we love that. Listen, Angela, you also, she is a mother of two, and they're only one in three. So 
One thing, they understand what that means. One thing you've done with your recipes is made them very easy to assemble. You probably have a child attached to your legs most of the time. Screaming, yeah. Screaming. Yeah, definitely. So it's good that you've done easy recipes that are family friendly, like this loaf over there. Yes, What's this, in that? This is a lentil walnut loaf, and mm. it's packed with veggies like celery, there's grated carrots, nice. high in protein, there's healthy fats in there from some ground flax. Mm -hmm. You can actually make this a couple days in advance and pop it in the fridge, wrap it up, and then you can just bake it the day of a holiday meal. Smart. So that's really easy too. Yes. Um, but yeah, the kids really love that one. Oh, I love that. And then this one, which and looks this, gorgeous. Yeah, it's my roasted butternut squash uh, casserole, and mm. it's got a nice vegan Parmesan on it. So I basically just grind up some almonds and pecans, nutritional yeast, a little bit of sea salt and garlic. Okay. And it just adds that nice, cheesy crunch on top and it's it's wonderful as well. Well, we always like a cheesy crunch. It's always. always. It's very important. Yeah. I usually double the amount called for. Good I should girl. probably <laughs> switch that in my recipe, but it's really good just to just add it on and then yeah. that'll keep in the fridge for a couple of weeks Good well. stuff.